So in Guild Wars 1, if you wanted to change your build, you just open your skill menu, go to load from template, and it would have all your builds right here. Uh, if you wanted to uh, select a build, it would already know if you could use it or not. And you select the build you want, and then boom, you got the new build. Simple as that. I don't know why they didn't just copy that for Guild Wars 2, especially because they run on the same engine. Uh, everyone seems to forget that Guild Wars 2 is just a heavily modified version of Guild Wars 1. So the code for build templates was there the whole time, essentially. So the, because of this fact, people expected build templates in Guild Wars 2 from launch. After Heart of Thorns came out, or maybe a bit earlier, I don't really remember. Arc DPS came out, made by a guy called Delta Connected, or Delta for short, let's call him. I don't actually know his real username, but the point is, he made Arc DPS, and it's real good, baby. I've never used it in my life, but that's beside the point. It looks like it should give you Trojans, it doesn't give you Trojans. It works, and loads of raiders have used it for like four years now. With Arc DPS, you load Arc DPS, you select the build you want, you load the build. It's pretty simple. Then 2019 comes around, and Guild Wars 2 bumbles into the build template scene with this convoluted system with three layers of monetization that kind of has loads of unforeseen consequences that I think most people don't even realize yet. You have like a civil war in the fan base about, oh, you shouldn't pay for this, and oh, you should pay for this, you cheapskates. Let's, let's quell all the rumors. Let's dispel the myths. Let's go in a deep dive into build templates and why they fucking suck. Why they're not very good and why they can improve it. They said on their live stream, it was a work in progress. You got about a month to fix it or you can ignore everything I say in this video. A video they almost certainly won't watch anyway. So who cares? Let's go. This is what build templates all look like, apparently. You have your build slots. You have your account storage. The fact these are two separate things is already a bit of a mystery, but let's go, let's, let's assume we don't have build slots and we just have this system of templates stored in your account. Because one of the same system, as I showed you, you select a build from the list, you load it in your bar if you can. That's it. That's all it needs to be really. But for some mysterious reason, they can only do 24 builds. And they're only giving you three of them for free and then an extra... Ugh, what a tongue twister. They only give you f three slots with an extra three, if you want, in the first month. For a total of six slots. Six slots for nine professions? That, that already seems like a bit of a, a, like a mistake. There's nine professions. It'll at least give us a slot for one, one build per profession. Let alone one build per profession per game mode, which would be... 27, which is already out the limit. But beside the point, this whole system seems arbitrarily designed, if anything, because you can copy paste build codes directly into slots. So why not just store all your builds externally and copy them in directly? The monetization that they're so seemingly, maybe, dogged about, we have to monetize build templates, can be completely bypassed very easily by the user. What's the point? It's clearly like arbitrary or inconveniencing you to the point where you pay for the convenience. Like, <laughs> Then we have the build slots for each character. Now, in theory, this is a nice idea. The idea behind it seems to be if you don't play PvP or don't play World vs. World, you can now use those slots where it does already store a build for a PvE build. Or vice versa. If you only play PvP, you can have three PvP builds. If you only play World vs. World, you get three World vs. World builds. But, in hindsight, this might be a, more of a detriment than it is a benefit. Because previously, you go to PvP, it loads your PvP build. You go to World vs. World, it loads your World vs. World build. Now you have to manually pick the build you want, but also either like store it in the slot or store it in your account. So, so it's like two layers of inconvenience, ultimately. If you want to have a build for each mode, as it is already, one, you have to manually pick the build you want, and two, you can't store your extra builds, obviously, in those slots they give you, air quote. You have to use account storage, but account storage, as we've discussed, is limited as hell. So, any which way you look, you're gonna have to probably 
pay up or use the secret free method I just mentioned earlier. Now, equipment templates are seemingly a nice idea. They are, however, an idea that I don't think anyone was really desperate for. ArcDPS has a form of equipment templates where it just kind of like auto equips the items you want, which is something I think most people are vaguely happy with. But now they have this new system of equipment templates, which seems to fundamentally change how you equip items, which is not something you really want to do seven years into a game. For example, you have two equipment templates. Both of them have the same weapon on them. In template one, the sword's in the main hand. In template two, the sword's in the off hand. Or the set off. Well, yeah, off hand. Fuck it. Um, it's just somewhere on the second build. That's what counts. So you are doing something and you're like, all right, I need to change my weapon for some reason. You change your weapon and then your weapon's gone. The one you have equipped on the other thing is now no longer in your inventory as it was before. It's in some magical new realm called the armory or equipment realm or something like that so i guarantee you there will be countless posts on the support board like oh i lost my weapon i lost my weapon because it's people who've put it in their second slot i think things would be perfectly fine if they didn't have equipment templates firstly or if they did choose to do them just do it as a equip these items please from your inventory so i don't have legendary army yet but from people who do i hear this is actually not a very good system because one it devalues their legendary armor because half the point of legendary armor is the fact you can easily switch it to something else but now with equipment templates you can easily switch to something else at a significantly less costly expense but at the same time a lot of people seem to share legendary armor between their characters and this new system kind of like makes that slightly more complicated where well, you can in theory set up all your different stat combinations on the same character now but the moment you want to give it to another character you lose all your templates and have to redo them entirely whereas with arc you save a template that says please set my legendary armor like this please and you can take it off and put it back on and that template will always be there and will always be able to set the character up to where you want it to be with a click of a button So the truth is people will still probably buy build templates. Despite everything I pointed out in this video and all the flaws of the systems, they ain't gonna change a goddamn thing. And when it comes to ArcDPS, despite it being an objectively better system, there's only one way this can end.